hell of being cool. Jacqueline Johnson. D Brown. Yo, this is D Brown, and I be rapping. So be rapping. This is Low Tide Division. Break down one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. I'm the new nigga. What you gon' what do? You gonna do? They say that I'm the only one. Only one. Gucci down to the socks like I'm a the baby. Yeah, in my time in boxes. Don't let it down with your chips in the house. Cause you know. Break down one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two. I'm the new nigga. What you gon' what do? You gonna do? They say that I'm the only one. Only one. Only one. Oh. Get it, yeah, I did. Rap was on singer, suspended, suspended. This the Venus dreamer, no back ass and so he's still a man. I'm still a man. I'm still a man. I'm still a man. I'm still a man. Sonny Carlisle, Patricio Carrion. This nigga leaving us. Because Martin Conner did exactly what you said on Sunday morning. Where's the wisdom from the nigga who finna leave? He's in deep con concentration. He only got three days left. Where is the wisdom from my nigga? This is after making a nice par save at the Some second. Some things are and not good enough for you to see. That's your boy Freeway. I gotta, I gotta watch my favorite stand up of all time. Yes, yeah, sir. Burn it back. You don't want to I ain't scared of you, motherfucker. The nigga in the relationship. What's up? That's the relationship pose right there. <laughs> hey, boo, how you doing? You don't want to stay. Nothing for the Mason Road tale. Frank, sing me song. That's how it's going to be, too. <laughs> oh, <Ooh>, man. <laughs> I'm 
man only got two minutes for that. My name is Jeremiah Hicks. I'm a senior major in kinesiology. One day I hope to be a basketball coach. Mainly for some fair, I mean, you know, my coach didn't help me out, but you know, other coaches have helped me out, helped me grow to be who I am today. And I just want to motivate other kids or young men or whatever, hit them in life. And like speaking of life, you know, we all need someone to help us, whether we independent or not. That's why I feel people say, come up with excuses about certain situations. Like, if a person say they do something because their parent wasn't there for them for this or for that, I just look at that as an excuse. I mean, we all do it. I mean, I'm not a hypocrite. I mean, but still, uh, I haven't been a person like, oh, my dad wasn't there for me. That's why I act like this. Like, no. Like, honestly, like, I mean, I feel it's a good thing my dad wasn't there for me. I mean, because I had nine uncles, a granddad, and an older brother help me. And, like, everybody I hang with, most likely I've been the baby. So I had role models. I know what to do right, what to do wrong. I mean, I'm human, so I'm still living. I mean, life just throw stuff at us. It's like, you never know. Like, you get down, like, I don't knock nobody what they doing. Like, as long as you doing something, like, I don't care. I like my boy Steve Brown. Like, shoot, sure, what he do? I support him to the fullest. I have no problem with no one. Like, no matter who you are. Like, if I know you or if I don't, I don't judge nobody. I hope you don't judge me. I mean, that ain't my place to do that. So, you say I'm selfish. I'm focusing on me. I got to live with me. And that since being said, I mean, me dealing with me, all I'm focusing on is school and work. I mean, like I said, like, no one's going to help you in life unless you help yourself. But every, every night, and if someone sees that you're trying to do for yourself, they'll help you. Or at least, you know, motivate you. Like, so what any person do, I mean, if you have to get up, go work a nine to five, you hate it. I mean, I still have respect for you. I mean, you got to go ahead and make money. I mean, if you have kids or whatever, I don't knock you, as long as you're a good parent. I mean, that's why I want to see, like, why people do stupid stuff now, like, killing up folks, like, different stuff, like, probably, like, shoes, like, five dollars. I mean, like, yeah, it's the principle of respect about the whole thing, but still, like, it's stupid. I mean, it's material things. I mean, you have to look at stuff, like, other blessings we have, like, for instance, like, you have Everything has a purpose, whether you, you believe it or not. Like, all right, trees, they have a purpose. I mean, they provide shade. I mean, give off, like, oxygen and all that. I mean, what's the purpose of an apartment? I mean, you need somewhere to live or whatever. Car, get from point A to point B. I mean, you as a person, like, you have a purpose. So don't ever say or think or let anyone tell you you don't have a purpose. Because we all have a purpose, whether you know it or not. Whether you believe in God or not, like, you still have a purpose. And like also in the sense like everyone's not the same. We all think differently. We all act different. Like you know, true enough, you gonna come across like fake people. Like oh well, we can't control that. It happens. But if you do have someone genuine in your life, I mean that there is a blessing in itself. And like even if you have to just show that person like all right, I appreciate you. What is Girlfriend, boyfriend, I mean, regular friend, I mean, sister, brother, auntie, mom, dad, grandparents, whatever. I mean, life is short. And, like, you don't want to live with regrets and be like, okay, I should have changed this or I should have told them that or either I should have done this before time was too late. Like, I mean, everything is done at time. I mean, when you sit down and you stress about something, that's not fixing a problem because you're just sitting, about, sitting around thinking about it. So if you get up, and go do something about it. I mean, handle your business. At least, if something don't go according to plans, something greater will happen. At least you know that you tried. I mean, it could be your blessing in disguise. I mean, just don't sit around. That's about it. I mean, just get up and do what you gotta do.